Good morning. It's about 8.15. I am sitting on the west deck. The east deck would show the sun rising. However, it's very hazy. So, because it is gray and hazy, we cannot see the sun rising. So I just decided to sit on the west deck. East deck has a picnic table on top of it. West deck has this table. Um, I got nothing to report. There's a critter upstairs who was making a lot of noise, though. Last night while I was watching, um, watching, uh, the day the earth still stood still or whatever. So this DVD copy that they have actually has the, the new one that has Keanu Reeves in it. And it has the 1958 release of it. So I watched both. Um, I like the newer one better. The plot line is better, of course, and obviously everything is better because it's newer. Uh, for for technology, that's just how it works. Um, I'm gonna see about possibly heading to that old that corner store place and get some firewood. Um, have a fire. I don't think it's gonna rain. It doesn't feel like it. It just feels really, it's very, very dewy and damp and the moisture is thick this morning. I'm hoping that dries up. It might rain, might not. I'm not really sure. But we'll see. You hear that? That? That is actually an angry squirrel. It was chip chip chippering earlier, but that's an angry squirrel. It sounds like a bird. Squirrel. That is a loud, angry crow. I think it's a crow. Yeah. Definitely a crow. I don't know what that is. But the crow is very loud and angry. wonder why all the animals are angry this morning. It's clearing up, so I bet it's going to be a great day. I also got this sweatshirt and a new tank top when I went to Walmart yesterday. Um, so the objective today is to fill in gaps, like get some debris and put it in the, in the holes. So I got to take the ATV up to the top of the hill. And the way I do that, I have to do that, is to go around the backside through a lot of brush. So I got this sweatshirt on so that I don't get all cut up on my arms and, and stuff like that. So, time to get to work. Unfortunately, the brush is too thick and I cannot get through with the ATV, which means I'm going to have to walk. As you can see here, um, the ditches were uh, are mostly filled in. Mostly. <sighs> These are the ditches. I mean, I don't know. There, there could be more in this one, I think, like in right here. But um, 
they were a lot deeper before last time I came up here. Um, yeah, the ditches were probably three feet. So they're pretty filled in now, which is good. But we still got to get, put a lot more in there, I suppose. So I'm just supposed to take any, um, debris lying around and put it in the, put it in the holes. So, guess that's what I'm doing today. Filling holes. It's this one. This one needs to be filled in. Very, very, very much. This one needs to be filled in more. So my Uncle Jeff came, or no, my Uncle Steve came up to walk his dog or whatever, well, his daughter's dog. He's um, arguing with my mom over uh, a thief or something of uh, on the farm. Like, he is blaming my mom for stealing money um, that they got from my grandma uh, when she died. But um, mom... Mom talked, she has three brothers, um, Steve, Jeff, and Phil. Um, Steve, uh, apparently has some money issues, and, um, he blamed my mom for stealing, um, inheritance money from Grandma, but she talked to that, to all four, all three of them, and, uh, she, they agreed that they would use the, they would use money for the farm, um, which she pays taxes, she pays the taxes and has the title on the farm, or, which shows, um, she's also an owner, and so... Uncle Steve came. I was riding the ATV earlier, as you, as I said. Um, he came in. He called me a liberal bitch and said that he was going to call the cops on me for riding the, the ATV. Um... He took it. He took the ATV. Fine. He says that I was trespassing. I said I have a right to be here because my mom says so. He, Jeff, Uncle Steve doesn't own the farm. They all do. And mom, mom said that I could be here. Uncle Steve said he called the cops. He called the cops on me and said that I was going to jail. I don't, I don't think, I'm a little scared because he's a, he's scary. I didn't, I, I'm not a confrontational person. I'm trying to calm down. If the cops show up, I can be here. Mom said I could be here. I gotta go. Alright, I'm calm. Um, just sitting out here. I was chatting with Mom, texting with Mom a bit. Um, she thinks that it's possible that Uncle Jeff... Because here's how it worked. Um, when Grandma... The title to the ATV went to Grandma. And then once she died, she bequeathed the farm and all its properties, including the ATV, to all four of us. All four of them. So, um, what she thinks, because Uncle Jeff had paid the title on it uh, before, that Uncle Jeff probably gifted the ATV to Uncle Steve this ATV I call Frankenstein 
because it's been stitched together and welded back together so many times. So this ATV is over 20 years old. So arguing about an ATV is really not, it's not even worth it. So I'm calm about the ATV. If he called the cops, no big deal. I will confess to driving the ATV. I did not know at the time that Uncle Steve had the title, possibly. So I wanted to say, my grandma loved hummingbirds. She loved them a lot. So we had hummingbird feeders all over the farm and stuff like that. I was just sitting here and I hear the of the brrr. And I look up and literally about three feet from my face is a hummingbird. I like to believe that when we see hummingbirds, um, that it's grandma. This grandma. I felt, oh dang, JJ, you got a spider hanging from your chin. You know that? That's probably what she was trying to eat. That's disgusting. Oh, oh, you guys, don't come over here. You got a spider on your chin. It looks dead now. So gross. Gross, gross, gross. Ew. No, JJ. You leave that dead thing alone. Ugh. Okay, I got it off. Oh, gross. She really will just eat anything. So anyway, after seeing the hummingbird, I said, hello. And I flew away. I feel better now. So I think, uh, I mean, if you feel like the spirits and if you feel, if you feel, if you believe in that kind of stuff, I would like to think that the hummingbirds that I see are grandma's spirit or whatever. So I think we're okay. Um, Mom says if the sheriff does show up to have them call her and uh, she'll explain everything or whatever. So I don't know if they will. I'm just going to chill out here for a while, sip on my iced tea. And, uh, just play some game on my phone. Yeah. I think we're good. That is my uncle. He's sitting on his truck bed right now. We are currently waiting for the sheriff to arrive. He called the police about the ATV. Very, he, uh, he knows. So, look. He knows that I can't, I don't have to leave the property. <sighs> yeah. Extremely passive aggressive, but he will get in your face. Uh, you know, if you're standing there. So, I'm not going to talk to him. Mom says I could press verbal assault charges against him because he did verbally assault me to my face, but it really wasn't that bad. I don't know. I think I should just let that go. Mom did say that when the sheriff comes to give the ATV key to the sheriff, not to Steve. So, when the sheriff comes and I explain that at the time of driving the vehicle I did not know it was in the possession of Steven, then I will hand the key over to the sheriff. And that will be that. Dang. Okay, so he made a huge deal over a key. Alright, so, um, uh, Steve called the police. The police ended up calling my mom. My mom talked to the sheriff about the key and told the, the cop that, um, she told me to give the key to the cop and not to uh, my uncle. So the cop then called me, said to give the key um, to my uncle, but not physically. I would leave it on a table and go inside. So that's what I did. I left it on a table. We have two decks. There's the east deck and the west deck. 
I said I was sitting on the west deck. The cop told him to get the key off the, the deck that I was sitting on. Uncle Steve saw which deck I was sitting on, so for whatever reason, he went over to that de the east deck. I was sitting on the west deck. Um. Anyway, I left the key there. I l went inside. I locked both doors so that he doesn't come in here saying, Where's the damn key? Or some stupid whatever. I look like I have a mustache. Anywho. Um, I'm like, it's over there. He's trying to get inside, and I'm like, it's over there. You know, pointing to the west deck. So he got the key, got in his truck, and left. So hopefully, he doesn't come back. And I hope that, you know, him getting this stupid key makes him feel like he won. Or whatever. I honestly don't care. I did not... I wasn't driving the ATV for pleasure. I wanted to use the ATV to, um, you know, to help Paul Wood or whatever. But since that's not an option now, I ain't going to go into the, I'm not going to go in and, uh, in the woods and just carry a bunch of logs because my knee gave out on me when I was going up, when I was, uh, filling in holes. So my knee is sore now. That's awesome. I tried to help. There's some trees up there that do need to be cut down, and I think we could get those, uh, put those in the ditch, especially that big ditch. That would be um, the best. So, I should wash my face. I'm in the attic. Uh, that's how you get up. There's some boxes here. It's got grandma's stuff in it. I don't know if the dog is trying to get up. JJ! 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 JJ, I'm up here! JJ! 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 Not smart. Anyway, there's an animal over here. Look at all that. See all the droppings over here. Lots of droppings. It's there against this well somewhere, but I don't know where. Looks like these are um, squirrel poop. Where are you, squirrel? Squirrel! Let me get you out of the wall. Run away, wherever you are. Anyways, it sounded like it was chewing a hole in the wall. I don't know where. Mouse, squirrel, chipmunk, who knows. So you got this, this uh, folding chair here is like a double. Um, chair or whatever. We're gonna find it. Oh yeah, we're gonna find it. You hear that? Where are you? It's in this wall. in this wall. JJ! Here's a dog. Hmm. There's no holes in the wall. How'd it get in? the wall. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, over here. Oh.
It's somewhere in this roof. Oh, I don't know what that was about. JJ! JJ! Where are you, JJ? I be careful cuz you know it's a long way to go that something in the roof Ooh. see this thing is for like de-icing your or getting the snow off the roof <sighs> wine stuff that box says wine stuff which could be uncle jeff's there used to be more up here but i guarantee you uncle steve probably sold a lot of it that's why you don't keep stuff up here JJ, do you see me? Where are you at, JJ? JJ, JJ, JJ. What? All right, I'm gonna go back down. This rain that was supposed to happen, uh, I'm very certain it's not gonna happen now, which is great. I'm gonna roast me some weenies. I got some wood from the, from uh, well, the woods, from the woods. And I put some uh, gasoline on it. Hopefully that will keep enough, you know. Once that goes out, that's it, cause there's no more, there's no more wood. There's no wood in the fire, or in the fire. There's no wood in the wood thing over there. There's no wood in this thing right here. There's no wood. You know, if uh, Steve wasn't an asshole, we could have the ATV and I'd be able to get the, the wood. Apparently, he's an asshole. I did not know that. Now I know. So, on that note, I'm actually... Uh, I'm watching um, Chronicles of Riddick. It's on. Uh, it's not on right now, but let's put the uh, DVD in. So once that's uh, once the movie's done, should be dark enough for fire. Let's see what time it is? It's 3:05, so maybe not. Either way, whatever. Uh, This is okay. Um, all right, I'm gonna go. Something I didn't know about gasoline it evaporates. I thought it would just soak into the wood and then we'd have a big fire, but uh, that's um, not what happened. I, uh, I'm going to need to dump some more gasoline on there, throw a, a wad of, uh, paper. Well, let's see if I can find some newspaper, maybe, or magazine or something. I'll try that first. Uh, well, I can't start a fire to save my life. Not without gasoline, and even that didn't work. The wood's too wet, I'm assuming. Yeah, I guess I'll be microwaving my wieners. I didn't get a chance to put any anti-frizz in my hair. So with all this humidity, I put my hair down and it's so frizzy. But that's okay. Look at all that. Look at all this hair. 
all the hair. I have all the hair. <sighs> so, I had no sign of Steve, which is fine. Mom says he's a coward and wouldn't do public confrontation. He's so much of a coward he wouldn't do any public confrontation. So, we don't have to worry about, um, you know, defamation of character or whatever, like on Facebook. Not that it really matters. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Not that it really matters, because I would just ignore it. So, um, whatever rodent is... In the attic. It's not in the attic. It's in the roof. Like. I don't even know where. In the roof. It's in the roof. Above the. In between the attic and the roof. And the, and the walls. And, and all that kind of stuff. Um. Oh. Yeah. So. I want to get like a. A you know, handheld electric saw or chainsaw that I think would be helpful up here if we had a mobile chainsaw or something like that when we don't have something like that anyways the this door um, make this bed. You can't even lay on this bed, in order. otherwise it'll, you know, get messy. Oh, yeah, I need others. The farm has no running water, so we can't really wash my face. Or anything else for that matter. Sometimes I feel like I just need to wash my face. But, oh well. Alright, what's next? Johnny Dangerously. That's what's on the... Down there. Alright. Uh, my phone is dying because uh, I played games on it while I was inside you know, um, calming down with the whole fiasco and making sure Uncle Steve wasn't going to come back. So anyways, um, I guess that's it for tonight. Tomorrow I go home. Talk to you later. Doodles.